Hey Scrappy Peep Susanna today for Scale It Down and we have our guest designer Anna and we're doing a grab five. So Anna presented us with the challenge of the five things that we were going to use to scrapbook in our traveler's notebooks. So thread number one, stencils number two, die cuts number three, journaling cards and my picture, number four, and last but not least, alphas. So those are the five things that Anna challenged us to use in our traveler's notebook. So this notebook is um, an about me notebook, and recently my daughter and I went to Indianapolis to visit my parents, and we went out for coffee. And so I decided I wanted to do a page about coffee. So I have these two stencils. This one that I'm using is from Tim Holtz. The other one is from the Crafters Workshop. And I am just putting ink, brown, different shades of brown, it through the stencil using the um, the ink applicator tool from Ranger. And then I am going to, so I'm using a mix of inks. I'm using uh, Distressed Oxide ink, and I'm using some regular it's not Distress Oxide, but the Tim Holtz Regular Distress Ink. And then I'm going to lightly mist water through this to kind of give it that uh, drippy cup effect, as you can see there. And then just using a paper towel dauber to daub off the, the excess. And I want some of that up the top. So I'm going to put another ring, the, the double cup ring, um, at the top and uh, just try and pick up a few of the splatters over on the left hand side of the page. I don't want too much, uh, but I want this to be the bulk of my background. So same process, just a little bit of the regular Distress Ink, then a little bit of the Distress Oxide Ink, and the Distress Ink has um, a little bit of orange to it to give some tonal changes um, and a bit of that rust look. And then I'm gonna take the excess and just kind of dab it onto the page there. I let that dry, and now I've got some of my Nouveau uh, Shimmers Mist that I am going to splatter onto the page and let that dry and again just for a little bit more of that splatter look so I'm going to let that dry and come back to it and this is what we get unfortunately there's brown that has gone through the other sides of the pages um, but it is what it is and so I'll have to work with that this is a drink that's called a healthy elephant um, it is espresso honey honey is the sweetener in it and peanut butter uh, so if you're an allergy person that's not going to work for you but it was absolutely delicious and i had pulled elements that had that orange sort of that rusty orange navy blue and pink to use on the page and so that is a journal card that is a six by four journal card that's on the right hand side and then the today card is one from a really really old coco daisy kit uh, from before i even designed for coco daisy when i was a uh, subscriber and i'm trying to find a, a configuration for these i also as i was digging through my stash saw that piece of pattern paper from paige evans pick me up six by six paper pad which had the same colors the brown the pink the red and the navy blue unfortunately it just all looked too busy when i used that so i decided to uh, get rid of that and just go with the the two orange rust sort of colored cards i thought about backing the photo with it but that again it was just too busy and I, I wanted to go I wanted to keep the emphasis of the busy really on those coffee stained stencils there so that's a die cut that's the first die cut that's from Bella Boulevard um, and that also is from Bella Boulevard that I believe is from the Addison collection uh, I keep my die cuts a lot of them that are from collections in those iris cases and uh, I have pulled them from there I also have a few elements you can see down the bottom there that came from Simple Stories Reset Girl that were also stored in an iris case. Um, and so I pulled colors that were going to match what I with what I wanted to do. So I'm going to back that journal card that I cut the rounded corner off with some, it's a brown, it's almost like a, a sort of a rich mocha that has a metallic thread to it. And that's from the paper source from ages and ages and ages ago. I want to say like 15 years ago. I'm gonna cut that in two thirds and a third so that I can spread it across the page and not worry about um, the, the 
uh, I guess the creasing or the, the pulling up of where I've spread that across the two pages, but I do want it to kiss just a little bit closer. And then that is the main format of what I'm gonna do. I like that navy blue. That navy blue has um, gold, little tiny gold dots in it. And I like the way that the blue just adds uh, some shine to the page and a touch of color. So I'm gonna adhere that all down. And what I'm doing as I put this photo down is I was trying to wait to find a way to make it a tip in so that you flipped the photo and maybe more journaling was underneath. But the problem with that is, is that today card is on a white grid. And then over on the right hand side, that four by six card is an off white grid. And it just, it looked funny when you exposed both of them. So I decided to uh, just stick the photo down. Here I am using the thread from Anna's Grab 5 Challenge as well as the die cut. And so I'm just gonna stick that back behind the die cut. It is also a coffee cup and it says something on it. I think it says something about um, ice coffee is my best friend. And I end up covering up the bulk of what it says because um, yes, I do love my coffee and yes, coffee is absolutely necessary, but um, coffee is not my best friend. <laughs> um, so, and really I just wanted the, the, the cup there. So that's a speech bubble. And I used it more for the touch of color really than I did for it to be a speech bubble. It was also a nice place to sort of house uh, some of the embellishments that I have there. And then I have that reset girl um, circle and unfortunately the reset, well not unfortunately, but the reset girl says something about planner girl, which has nothing to do with what I've got going on here. So I'm going to um, try and cover it with that bird and then decide that the bird really has nothing to do with it either. So I'll have to find something else to put in there. I tried the S from the letters, but it didn't really cover it up enough. So I'm gonna go for a different option. But while I've got the letters out, I'm going to go ahead and title this page, and the title is But First. Um, and in my head, I, I didn't, I, first I wanted to say But First Coffee, but there really isn't room for coffee there. So I let you, uh, the reader, finish that off themselves. And the title is just But First. And I'm going to journal in that spot on the right hand side there where that grid is. Uh, and I will do that off camera, but I wanna fill that hole that says planner girl. Um, I found a hole punch that was too big. So I'm gonna go with one that's a little bit smaller. That's a three quarter inch circle that will go in there. So this series, Scale It Down, is a series where Simone and I uh, post videos every other Saturday, and we challenge you to scrapbook in your traveler's notebooks. This is Anna's Grab 5 challenge, and she's our special guest, so be sure to go over and visit Anna on her YouTube channel and check in to, with Simone and see what it is that she's come up with. So thanks for joining me today. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy the close-ups. Thanks for joining us today, and if you do play along, if you use the hashtag, hashtag scale it down, grab five, we'd love to see what you do with Anna's challenge. Hope you're doing well. Take care.